What is going on everybody? Sean Daniel here with Guitar Control and today is a really fun lesson because we're going to do some electric guitar finger style stuff that can also really be easily transferred to acoustic guitar but it has a lot more to do with the techniques of making it sound a little bit tighter and giving it kind of like a certain vibe more so than even just like mm -hmm. the, the actual notes that you're playing. So make sure to click the link below uh, so you can follow along a little bit easier and the example we're going to use is going to sound like this. So basically it's got this kind of, you know, back and forth vibe and a lot of that comes from having alternating bass notes. So the very first thing we're going to do is going to talk about that. Now this is going to be totally movable and what I mean by that is we don't have to rely solely on open chords that you can't move around. All of this is movable and we're really just going to take one shape, one major voice shape and move it all around the place, right? So let's start off with just looking at the shape. This is gonna be a D major seven chord voicing, okay? Now my pointer finger is gonna grab the fifth fret on the A string, that is a D note. My ring finger is gonna grab the seventh fret on the D string. My middle finger has the sixth fret on the G string. And then my pinky has the seventh fret on the B string, right? So where I'm just focusing on the middle four strings of this D major seven chord voicing, right? Now. It is good to know a little bit of the names of some of the notes. So again, I said this root note is a D. Now a fifth of a D, what that means is five notes through the major scale. One, two, three, four, five is where we get this next note. This is an A, okay? Now for this type of kind of style, you really want to go back and forth between two specific notes. That being the root note and its fifth. But we're taking the fifth below. So again, D, E, F, G, A. The A note is a fifth of D. It means they're always gonna sound good together. In fact, a D and an A make a power chord here, okay? Now the D below it, or the A below the D, is gonna be right here, the fifth fret on the A string. Now conversely, you can also just open up the string. And we're gonna to get to the pattern in just a second, but really I wanna focus on going from here to here. Again, you can open it up to get the same thing, but as soon as you do that, you lose some of the control of it, as you can just kind of hear that, right? When you're fretting a note, you always have more control over it, which is why even if you have the option to play an open string to hit a certain note, maybe you don't always want to use it, or maybe you do. You know, it just kind of depends on the context. So another thing that you'll notice about the sound of this is it's pretty heavily muted. And the way I'm doing that is I'm taking my picking hand and kind of really digging into the bridge a little bit, right? So here's if I were just to strum the chord, open, and now here it is, muted. Some of the muting is coming from my fretting hand and some of the muting is coming from my, my picking hand. Okay, so eventually we're gonna use all this to our advantage to kind of get this back and forth, kind of punchy sound. Travis style picking, however you want to kind of describe it. I just think it's a different kind of a vibe that every finger style guitar player, electric or acoustic, should be able to go to. So again, we've got this chord, and we're gonna alternate bass notes between a D and an A, and a D and an A. And again, you can see my right hand. I'm just using my thumb to get both of those, and none of them are ringing out. They're being muted slightly with my palm. And then also too, by my pointer finger, you can do the same thing just by going back and forth between those notes, almost like pushing a button. Boom, 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 boom. So that's gonna be kind of the pulse of the song, right? Any good finger style kind of, kind of vibe rhythm has some kind of pulse. Okay, so now let's start talking about the rest of what we have going on here. I'm really just using these two fingers right here. And again, my thumb is responsible for the E, A, and D strings, okay? We've got a couple other videos on the Guitar Control channel of me going over just kind of fingerstyle basics, but really, your thumb is pulling triple duty. It's got these three strings, E, A, and D. My pointer finger is on the G string patrol, and then my middle finger is on the B string patrol right here. 
So the pattern is gonna be like this. Like that. I've got the A string on the one count. One, two, three, and four. All right, so a full bar would be a, one is the A string, two is the D and the B string. You can see my thumb and my middle finger kind of grab both of them. One, two, three, and four. All right, so now one, two, three is that alternating lower note. My pointer finger going to the E string. One, two, three, and four. And now the and of three is my pointer finger hitting the G string, which your middle finger on your fretting hand is responsible for. And then one, two, three, and four. Your thumb comes back down to the D string to grab the four. One, two, three, and 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 four. And because none of the notes or chords are being sustained at all, it has very kind of like choppy, intentional vibe. Okay, and that all comes from a combination of palm muting the bridge, like I said, down here, and then really kind of using your fretting hand to, as soon as you hit a note, get off of it, right? Not off, but let go of the pressure so you get kind of like a quick pinch. And again, you can do this to varying degrees. You can really, really heavily mute it. And I'm getting barely any tonality there. But it's still kind of, you know, something interesting that maybe there's, uh, you'll find a need for that and you're playing at some point in time, but it's good to be able to come to it. So, we're gonna do the same thing. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. And. All right, so now uh, I kind of add a lot of vibrato on that last one. You don't really have to do that. Optional, optional flavoring, please. It's gonna be the second bar, just kind of a slightly different pattern. Like we said, the first one was one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. And. Okay? Same fingering that you're using with the picking hand. One, two, and three, and four, and. The only thing that's different now is remember we have and beats, three and four, and, instead of one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four, and. So the and of two, the and of three, and the and of four are all represented. That's why musical counting is another really, really great thing that you should start working on. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four, and. All the ands are coming with here, right? Your thumb. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. At the very least, your thumb should be able to alternate between the A and D and E and D. A, D, E, D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Everything else from the patterns, and a lot of different finger style patterns like this, are just gonna be added with your fingers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And having this muted like this is a great way to have your ear listen to the difference between the patterns. And then you kind of switch them up. Anytime you want to kind of join a downbeat with your thumb, those two fingers are always available in that spot. You don't have to change anything. Or if you want to accentuate by putting them on the end of a downbeat, so the offbeat, right? The, some people call it like a backbeat, offbeat, whatever. The great thing about this is we can always move it. We're just going to take this exact same shape and move it from D to C, the fifth fret on the A string to the third fret on the A string. And now the notes change. But as far as the notes relative to the shape, they don't change. We still have a root note, and it's alternating fifth. So it's a fifth of C, just count through the alphabet. C, D, E, F, G. You'll notice that one, two, three, four, five, octave down, C to G to C to G. So we've got D, A, D, A, D, A, D, C, G. string rooted chord you can do this to. So let's take like a minor chord on the seventh fret of the A string. 
So we've got seven, eight, nine. Again, that root and its fifth, and the fifth below it are the same. The only thing that really changes is your pinky is on the ninth fret of the G string, your middle finger is on the eighth fret of the B string. Minor seven. So again, you know, that might not be the style that is totally, you know, your style of playing, but it's always a good thing to be able to kind of jump back and forth between because you can really use it on anything. And it's something that I kind of have a lot of fun with. So, you know, we got a few requests on kind of how to do that right hand style technique. Again, just a combination of getting those finger style patterns right, and then starting to mute and choke uh, some of the individual notes. Hopefully learn something, and uh, definitely, if you have any questions, let us know. Any feedback, we are always open to hearing it. And in the meantime, until the next video, check out the other ones we have on this channel by myself. Other great instructors going over a lot of finger style stuff, acoustic and electric. And like I said, any questions, let us know, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.